So we're currently at storage. Haven't done a video in a while, but uh, we just had a, a sale. This is an antique pine dresser. Someone just bought it for $750 plus $100 delivery fee. Uh, we're driving the red truck now for a while because the silver truck basically just blew up. So that's what's going on. As per usual, little local Nintendo 64 Super Nintendo lot bundle. Paid 100 bucks for everything. The condition on all of this stuff is, I mean, it, it can go into Amazon, it can be it can be okay, but a lot of it needs cleaning, and one of the games is absolutely trashed, which is this one, which currently, or I think this one right now has a compliance ordinance on Amazon where you have to, you have to like approve you have the appliance or compliance, a certain ruling, you have to like proper paperwork showing you by showing Amazon officials that you're allowed to sell products with small little batteries because there's like some weird law that's been around forever, but uh, now it's spreading to video games and for some reason that game's affected for whatever reason saying a little baby can choke on it, I guess, which is, I mean, if your baby has a Nintendo screwdriver, I guess, go for it. Yeah, pretty cool to see a Blockbuster uh, old sticker, Mission Impossible, Madden 2000. NFL Blitz, Pokemon Snap, and Star Fox 64. Uh, Star Fox plus Super Mario World breaks me even. Everything else is profit. And I honestly have no idea about like these colored uh, N64 games. I've never actually seen them in person. I've seen Spider-Man, of course, but I've never sold them. Hexen, I'm wondering if I can safely get that sticker off. Uh, alleged, oh wow, it's a whole tape across the whole front plate. Yeah, I don't know about that one. But uh, that's pretty cool, see? Video Land, Southeast Foster Road, Portland, Oregon. They're obviously not there anymore. But uh, yeah, quick low $100 pickup. Time to go home and process all this. Oh yeah, and behind me, I picked up another free Ikea for a hit in sectional couch that I've sold, again, dozens and dozens of times. But uh, I'm not gonna take it to storage just yet because I'm gonna wait until it cools off a little bit, maybe do that later on. But I already have pictures of it from previous couches I've sold, so it's already listed, ready to go. So in a perfect world, someone's like, hey, I want it delivered right now, and I don't even have to take it out of my truck. But uh, we'll see. Uh, just got an Amazon return claiming that this game was damaged, which is uh, pretty weird because this game was brand new factory sealed when I sent it in, and that is not my uh, SKU label. Are you going in there? She's all investigating the new smells. What do you smell? Yeah, she loves Super Nintendo. Is that Scooby-Doo? Well, Bought it and sent me back their used copy, which I, this is still, I can still send it in. You know, what up, that's me. And, you know, it happens. Just keep it moving. It's not worth complaining about. I'm just letting you guys know that, you know, if you do start selling on Amazon, I expect people to basically rent your games. And the return reason is it was damaged right here. Uh, it's not. So, it is what it is. Back here at storage. Got another free couch. It is also, again, an IKEA fry hit in, but in like a pretty decent, like a beigey cream color. So, I'm just going to unload it and put it in the unit. What's up? What's up? Uh, been doing a lot of stuff down here in the game cave and I'm gonna turn the camera around because it's a giant mess I'm just showing you guys like my idea and even my thought process but I'm checking it out so currently this is what it looks like uh, I've had this table here for maybe a little bit too long and everything is not sub optimized but uh this has been my testing station for maybe like a year or so now and that's like my office day desk, but uh, I'm doing a really big like change of space down here. Hi, Kitty. And uh, Megan's upstairs helping me taking pictures of all the extra manuals and stuff I have. So she's upstairs sorting those right now. So thank you very much. Thinking about removing these two shelves. Those can basically get sold locally at a yard sale or something. And then I want to put like both that table and I think that table or the other one way down there are the same size i want to have both of those like kind of floating in the middle with all my little 
drawer mini storage underneath it so everything's just easy access and then on the big ones that i have which like you know that stack right there and then this bigger stack over here uh those will probably realistically you could just like go and block off that door because we don't use that door i'm trying to just have everything like two tables right here so this is like my working station but i want everything like an easy grab you know right here or turn around and i can grab something out of a shelf right here so i'm just trying to make it like less moving around at the moment like i have to take a couple of steps come over here oh i need an hdmi cable grab it out of here i don't even know why i put it over there but so kind of consolidating room and trying to make the best of the, uh my situation my whole space oh kitty kitty so here's what megan's been doing this is all just super nintendo stuff and so she's going through and sorting them here's an expensive one but it's a uh, really beat up missing its back cover even so 